Hi folks, Governor John coming to you today, celebrating November. Folks, November is one of my favorite months. Not, not just because it's kind of warm out. I mean, it's nice enough to be maybe outside over the weekend, but the holidays are coming. Uh, the beauty and the grandeur of the snow, it's all coming soon, but it's still nice enough to be outside right now. But more importantly, in November, we celebrate America. We have a national election in the beginning of the month where we get to honor our country and those who fought for our country by voting, by being part of the process, by doing something that many people around the world still don't have the right to do. And we end the month in celebration and thanksgiving, in gratitude, in remembrance of people that came together to help each other to get through a difficult winter. Uh, it's a fabulous month and for Rotary, even better. Yesterday, we had a celebration of sorts on our own. Every year in the beginning of November, we have our foundation dinner. And what a fabulous event it was last night, a foundation gala online. We had people as far away as 8,000 miles talking about the good that's being done, showing us the good that's being done because of the money that's being raised right here in our district. It was an amazing event. And this was District Governor-elect Greg's event. Uh, every year, the District Governor-elect gets to put this together and he did an amazing job. Fabulous event, over 70 participants. Thank you for those who came, for those of you who missed it, it's recorded. We'll get that link out to you. It's worth the watch. A couple of great speakers, amazing event. It's November, but let's talk about October. October was an amazing month too. We raised thousands of dollars for polio in Polio Awareness Month and on World Polio Day. Thank you to Una Martone for putting together the district-wide ride to eradicate polio event and to all of the clubs across the district that made the effort to raise money to eradicate polio. Don't forget about our Polio Plus Society. We have over 53 members now, and that is amazing in and of itself. That's $100 per member, new money, going to eradicate polio. And when you think about the tripling of that, that's $5,300 times three already raised to help eradicate polio, new money. Very exciting. And now, this month, coming up next, November 17th, we are celebrating a new chapter. A new chapter in our district, the Passport Club. These folks are a conglomeration of brand new Rotarians and experienced Rotarians. And they have been chartered this year, a super celebration. We actually have the Rotary International Director who represents us on the Rotary International Board coming to that event. Valerie Wafer is going to be there to talk to us about the importance of growth and thinking outside the box and growing Rotary in the right way. November 17th is going to be an online celebration. I encourage all of you to join us, join the Passport Club, wrap our Rotary arms around them as they learn how to do Rotary well. Very exciting. And the rest of the month is chock full of other events that are happening. Keep your eyes on the Rotary Reporter, on the website, on the Facebook page. Lots of great things happening in Rotary right now. We're going, we're having a great time. We're gonna finish 2020 strong. Thanks for all you do every month, every day through Rotary, using the Rotary engine to facilitate your passion, to give your gift back to to the world, back to your community, back to the world. Thanks and have a fantastic November. We'll see you around the wheel.